Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have sat down and filmed a YouTube video and have mentioned in some of my most recent videos that I started a new job, I moved to a new place. I also unfortunately got into a car accident. Thank goodness I am okay, but I did have to get a new car and so that took up a lot of my time. And then I was consumed by the election and watching the news and all of that stuff. So finally, I feel like I'm settled and I have some spare time on my hands. And I want to share with you guys everything that I got at the Sephora VIB sale. I'm VIB Rouge, so I got my stuff a while ago. But by the time I post this, the normal VIB sale will probably be over too. Um, so just going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing that I have to show you is one of the Sephora favorites kits. And I absolutely love these sets. Every year there's always a few of these that I end up getting. This one is a styling spray collection. And so please excuse my nails, by the way. They are really, really awful. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. But you get the BB uh, Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun Finish Thickening Spray. You get the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo the IGK um, Down and Out Dirty Spray, the Way Hair Care Texturizing Spray, and the Living Proof Flex Shaping Hairspray. This whole kit was only $29. Whoops, they're upside down. Here they are, they're pretty decent sizes. This is actually something that I've owned full size in the past. I've had this before too and I really like it. But these three sprays are new to me so I've been enjoying testing them out. And all in all, I think this is gonna last me a while. So I feel like this is really good value for money and it's fun to be able to test hair products out before you commit to buying one full size because these high-end hair products are often like $30 a bottle, which is pretty pricey. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you another one of these Sephora sets. This one is the Sephora Collection Mask It All Over set. So this comes with two face masks, one eye mask, one hand mask, one foot mask, and one nose mask. So you get six sheet masks total in this set. Um, I actually took one of the masks out, so there's only five in mine. I took out the avocado face mask and I gave it to my boyfriend. This is a $25 kit. It's a $36 value. And I've tried some of the Sephora collection sheet masks before. I like buying them in big packs like this. Speaking about skincare, I got two things from the brand Peter Thomas Roth. One of them is this. It's the pumpkin enzyme mask. And I've heard a lot about this on YouTube for over a year now. People rave about this mask and I love face masks in general. And I think that the uh, VIB sale is always a good time to get a new mask because masks and skincare in general can be pretty expensive. So why not get 20% uh, off on them? This one is, um, the purpose of the mask is it's a resurfacer, so like an exfoliator. It has pumpkin enzyme, alpha hydroxy acid, aluminum oxide, and it is supposed to reveal smoother, younger looking, radiant, and revitalized skin. I definitely think it does do that. This works really well. I've already tried it out a couple of times. If you like the smell of pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, then you will love the smell of this mask because it is spot on like a strong, a strongly spiced pumpkin pie. It does tingle pretty intensely on your skin. So if you if you have very sensitive skin, you might not like this, but um, I have really been enjoying it. And the other Peter Thomas Roth product that I picked up is the Max Complexion Correction Pads. These are new to me, um, but I have heard some good things about them on YouTube. I have been loving and wanting to buy the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads, but those are so incredibly expensive. In the past, I've liked using the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads is what I think they're called, but those are just not very strong or effective. I wanted something with a little bit more oomph, kind of like the Dr. Dennis Gross pads. These are a lot more affordable. I want to say this was $40 for the 60 pads that you get in here. These have salicylic acid, glycolic acid, chamomile, green tea, aloe vera. It's for normal oily combination or problem skin types. So these are just cotton pads, like round ones that are soaked in this formula and I like using these in the morning after I wash my face just to kind of give it an extra refresh. Those are really good. I have used them a couple times. Again, they're quite intense. You definitely feel them 
working on your skin, which I personally really like, but I know some people with sensitive skin may not love that effect. Okay, let's talk about some makeup, shall we? The first exciting makeup product that I got, and this is possibly the most exciting makeup product that I got, is the Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was uh, really hyped up, and this came out on Sephora and Ulta.com maybe like a month or two ago, and when it came out originally, I was like, no, I don't need that, I'm not gonna buy it. And then um, at one point I saw that it was like, unavailable on both of those sites, Sephora and Ulta, and I freaked out and I was like, okay, I really do want this palette. It's limited edition. I don't want to miss out on it. I've heard good things and I really do like the looks of it. And I love my other Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, like the Modern Renaissance one. This one is really sleek packaging. I actually way prefer this packaging to the Modern Renaissance. Um, it's not like fuzzy. It's just smooth. I'm sure you guys have seen this a ton on YouTube already. And then I have used this a couple times. Um, but I just love the color selection in here. I love the palette that Mario picked out and I feel like for a more medium skin tone like myself, these colors are beautiful. The ones that I've especially enjoyed using recently are Kim, Muse, Lula, Isabel, Violetta, um, and Marina up here. So those have been my favorites, I'm not gonna swatch them right now. There's tons of swatch videos on YouTube if you guys wanna see one. But yes, super excited about this palette. I feel like they did raise the price though. Have they raised the price since the Modern Renaissance palette even? I don't know. I felt like that was more expensive than other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So another makeup product that I got um, is from Tarte and, and this is the Tarte Quench Lip Rescue from their Rainforest of the Sea collection, which came out this summer, so this is not really something that's new. And they have different colors of this. This one is in the shade Nude. It has very cute, but very summery packaging. It has um, like these coral seashells and gold seashells all over it. I'm actually probably gonna put some of this on right now because my lips are feeling quite dry, and this is extremely hydrating. It smells like peppermint, and it gives you kind of a cooling peppermint feeling on your lips and it just adds a little bit of shine and a lot of moisture. So this is really, really nice. I mean, it doesn't really add a lot of color. I'll show you right now. It's very sheer, but it's a perfect thing to throw in your purse and just be able to like put on your lips throughout your work day without having to look in a mirror or fuss with it. It's just a low maintenance really hydrating, nice lip product. The other lip product that I picked up is another very natural, everyday, kind of appropriate for work type color. This is the Clinique, Clinique Pop Matte, which is one of their newer formulas. They came out with the Clinique Pop lipsticks. I think it was last year, and there were like the lipsticks plus the primers. This is now the matte version, and I got the shade in 01 Blushing Pop. This color is obviously a really, really pretty nude. It's not too light of a nude, so on my medium skin tone, um, it shows up really well. It's really pretty. It's uh, right here, obviously. It honestly kind of reminds me a little bit of those Maybelline uh, creamy mattes, because it, it's so comfortable on the lips, and it definitely does not dry your lips out, but it lasts a long time. It's a beautiful color. I would be intrigued to see what other sort of neutral nude everyday colors they have in this range because I really like this one a lot. And then I picked up a blush, which was something that I've heard about a lot online recently. This is from the Sephora collection and it is in the shade Passionate, number 23. This got pretty popular because I think Kylie Jenner like showed a haul on Snapchat or something where she bought this and I never saw the haul on her Snapchat, but I did see like articles about it on the internet afterwards. And this is a really pretty, peachy blush. It has kind of a satin gold sheen to it. When you swatch it on your hand, or like you can see maybe it's right here on this finger, it doesn't show up um, really intensely. So it's a very natural shade. Um, if you have like fair or like light medium skin, it will probably be a really nice peachy color for you. Um, if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't know that it would show up very well. To be honest, I have not even put that on my cheeks yet, so I can't really speak to it. Another new makeup product that I picked up, I have not tried this, and this has been out for a while, 
It's the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I've actually never tried the Too Faced Born This Way foundation either, but I got the shade medium and I haven't opened this yet. I don't wanna swatch it or use it because I wanna try to get through one of my other concealers right now before I open a new one. This concealer has like coconut water in it. I've heard that it's very hydrating. Um, I think this medium one is gonna be a perfect match for my skin tone and I am excited to try that out. I will report back um, to you guys once I do test it out. And then I picked up or repurchased another one of my Hourglass um, arch brow sculpting pencils. I've been using this as my go-to brow product for years now, like literally pretty much my entire existence on YouTube. This is the product that I've been using for my brows. I've been through a few different colors in the past. I've had um, soft brunette, soft brunette. Now that my hair is like a little bit more um, of a warmer tone, I've been using warm brunette. So that's what I got. This is a really nice brow product. It kind of is similar to the Anastasia Brow Definer, if you're familiar with that. It has kind of like a triangular tip, quite a thick pencil, but it's a really, soft, like not super pigmented, but in a good way. I mean that in a good way. My brow pencil, so that is it right there. It's very natural and I love using it every single day. And the last item that I actually purchased is this uh, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, even though I got a little mini dry shampoo in that set that I showed you earlier. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I actually discovered it in another Sephora like dry shampoo hair set last year. This was my favorite dry shampoo out of the whole set. The full size one I believe is $22, I believe. Don't quote me on that. This claims to actually clean your hair and I do find that it is the, the dry shampoo that like works the best. Like even though it's a white dry shampoo, it's undetectable even on my dark hair. I just really like this a lot. So why not grab it while it's on sale? And although that was the last thing that I purchased, I did get just a couple of 100 point perks, which I'll share with you quickly. First, I got two mascara products. I got the Lancome Seal Booster XL, which is a mascara base or white mascara primer. I have actually had the full size of this before and I've really liked it. So this was a good little point perk. And then this is a mascara that I've never tried before, but I've heard good things about it. It's the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. So I'm not gonna open those yet because I want to wait until I need them. And then as Sephora is now selling It Cosmetics, they have this as a 100 point perk. It's the It Cosmetics CC Plus your skin but better cream i love this cream so i picked up two of these 100 point perks both in the shade medium that is my go-to shade these are adorable and they're going to be so perfect for traveling so that is it you guys that is everything for my sephora haul i really hope that you enjoyed this video i'm glad to be back on youtube it feels really good to be filming a video again because it has been so long. Thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.